exactly how much the Sony phones improve in one year. That's what we're about to find out with the Sony Xperia performance against the Sony Xperia XES. So the X performance is one year old at this point. Uh, the XES is brand new. And despite that, both phones, same processor, both Snapdragon 20. Uh, so Sony have actually released three phones of Snapdragon 20. The middle one is the XE, which came out six months ago. Although on the XES, you do have one additional gigabyte of RAM, four versus three. And the XCS, you guys, we'll see who's going to be the first one to boot up. So yeah, XCS up now. And next performance up as well. Alright guys, so we'll try to keep this video a little quicker. Uh, I know I said the video is probably still going to be 15 minutes, but... Let's we'll just get right to it, and we're going to start with Dumper on 2. Still, I'll show you guys the design of the phone uh, later on in the video. Alright, so it looks like SES pretty easily winning Dumper on 2. And I know I don't make that many X performance videos anymore. Um, you know, Sony, they release so many phones with the XES, the XE, upcoming XE Premium. A little bit harder to find time for the X, uh, for the X performance. All right, guys, so I just want to reset my Wi-Fi. Uh, I have like 60 devices connected to that, so sometimes phones have a little bit of trouble connecting. But you guys see here, we got XES iPhone next. Slight advantage there for XCS, YouTube. So this one going to the X performance. Calculator. Clock. eBay. XCS there. S48. Yeah, so I think the X performance is much faster with the latest updates. But you still see an advantage here, of course, XES. Alright, a few more to move on more stuff. CBS Sports next. Alright, so we got XES there. Photos. I think that was about a tie. Settings. XCS. And I do have to rerun N2 to on the X performance. You guys see, currently not running it. But we'll do that later on in the video. But I can say the XCS score will be higher. Alright, let's scroll next. And we're just going to go to a few websites. So IGN first, IGN.com. All right, so you guys know the deal by now. XCS web browsing, really pretty incredible. And I did go to the same exact sites during the practice test. So I always film practice tests before actually recording the video just to make sure the results are accurate. All right, and let's do a couple more. All right, Nintendo.com next. All right, so really no contest there. XCS, very easy winning. All right, guys, no contest there. XCS, very easy winning web browsing. Let's do, uh, let's go ahead and do camera speed next. All right, so XCS, clearly a little faster taking pictures, but you're talking about a fraction of a second. All right, guys, so before I'm multitasking, let's go ahead and round off the specs real quick. So, it's probably larger screen on the XES, 5.2 inches versus 5.0, both screens 1080p. Front facing camera on both is excellent, uh, 13 megapixels on both. So, on the bottom here, on the XES, you have the USB Type C, micro USB on the X performance. 
fingerprint scanners for both on the side, headphone jacks on the top, book the other side, and look at the back. So both these phones are metal designs. Now Exa Formance actually has more megapixels, 23 versus 19. Uh, however, the XES camera is definitely better. The improvements are stuff like stabilization, as you guys can see right there, focus. Also on the XES, you have 960 frames per second scroll motion. Um, and one of the things I really don't like about the XES Formance is it does not have 4K mode, so you cannot record videos in 4K mode. Um, and I think that that was done because the phone tends to overheat a bit. But aside from that, obviously beautiful designs of both. Both phones come with either 32 or 64 gigabytes of internal storage, both for micro SD card support. Larger battery on the XCS 2900 capacity versus 2700. Uh, both phones Snapdragon 20, 3 bytes RAM for the X performance, 4 gigabytes RAM for the XCS. Both phones stereo speakers, both waterproof, uh, both fingerprint scanners. And the X performance at this point is very, very inexpensive. Uh, they actually just had a promo about a week ago for $300 on Amazon. That's a pretty crazy price for a phone with Snapdragon 820. All right, guys, here we go. Multitasking last. Oh, and I will run the Intuito as well uh, and give my final thoughts too. All right, so temper on two. All right, so you guys are here on the XES, just bring it right up on the X Performance reloading the app. So clearly a huge advantage there for XCS. YouTube or uh, BBC News. All right, so again, is you voting on the uh, X performance? I funny. Again, same thing here. YouTube. All right, so again, XCS here. That's body. All right, so once again, you're seeing on the X performance, is you on the app, on the XCS it's not. So obviously, pretty huge difference here in terms of multitasking. We'll do a couple more, I'll give my final thoughts, and also show you the two benchmark scores. Camera. And we'll do one final one. And final one was to Chrome. Yeah guys, so overall with multitasking, no contest, easily going with the XES. All right guys, so here's a look at those in two benchmark scores. So you guys see here high score on the Sony Xperia XCS, 153,000 versus 146. All right guys, so if you just look at the specs on paper, uh, the phones actually don't seem that different. Again, both of the Snapdragon 20 cameras in terms of megapixels are very similar, um, but really there's a whole lot more to it than that, because as you guys saw in the speed test, obviously the XCS is a much faster phone, much better in pretty much every area out there. Um, now in terms of actual performance, uh, no pun intended with the X performance, but the X performance I think is definitely one of the weaker Sony phones for a flagship. Um, for example, this phone definitely has some battery drainage issues. I'm assuming it's not true for all models, but on my model, uh, the battery drainage is, is pretty terrible. So again, you are getting a larger battery on the XCS, but it goes beyond that. Um, just in general, the X performance battery has held up pretty poorly for me, uh, especially I mean even compared to some of the older Sony phones like the Z5 which I'm currently using to record this video right now. Um, the battery has held up better on the Z5 than it has on the X performance. So again, not sure if that's just a glitch of my unit or not. Um, but in general, I've just found that the X performance does have some performance issues, just not as snappy as the XES or other Sony flagship phones. No 4K mode on the X performance, also a big thing for me. Um, all the major Sony phones have that, all the flagship phones have that. So not having an X performance is pretty big downside. Aside from that, most of the differences aren't really that big in my opinion. Uh, you do have a slightly larger screen again on the XCS. Um, you do have USB Type-C versus micro USB. But aside from that, on paper, these phones are actually pretty similar just in terms of performance. You're definitely gonna get better results with the Sony Xperia XCS. Now keep in mind, Sony is coming out with the Sony Xperia XC Premium uh, that will be 
think in the next couple weeks, and I'm extremely excited for that phone. Now that phone, it has this, uh, not just 4K camera recording, but a 4K screen, and it has a Snapdragon 835. I really think that the Sony Xperia X Premium is going to be contender for phone of the year, and I realize it's still a little bit early in the year for that to happen, but still, I think that on paper it looks incredible, so hopefully it pans out. All right, everyone, so thanks for watching. Hopefully the speed test comparison was helpful. Please subscribe for more videos in the future, including the upcoming Sony Xperia X Premium. And you can do it by clicking in the top left. Or you can watch another video right now by clicking in the bottom right. Alright guys, thanks again for watching.